Dear Hecht followers, today's topic is how to play a sound on the unified comfort panel. Mark had this question a long time ago in the community. Now I have found a reasonable solution and want to share it with you. I already plugged in some USB headphones. And before we start from the runtime, let us check it from the app direct. So we open the app. And I have add some music files on my panel. And now I want to play it. You see it is running, but I don't hear anything. Important is that you here choose the device. You see my Platronics headphones. And you need to choose the audio track. And now I can hear music. It's good, so the player is working. And my headphones are working. And now we want to trigger it from the runtime. To do this, it is work similar as um, the PDF from the last panel video. You see this is how to open the, the PDF viewer. Today we want to open the media player from runtime to play a sound. Now we go to the TIA portal. I add a new button and give it the name start VLC player and we use the event start program. I had copied the, the path and added here. Okay, now I load my panel and if I now press the button, he opens the media player. This is the first step. This looks good. Now we want to hand over some parameters. Um, I convert the function to JavaScript, it's for me easier. And um, the first we want to hand over to this program is the file name. So you have seen I have two mp3 files on it and I add the path. My music.mp3 and hand over this, this file path direct to this program. Okay, I download it and we can check it in runtime. So if I press the button again, you see he opens the media players and the sound is running, but you see he does not choose my device and not um, the correct track. So now I can hear again the music, but we want to do this also from the runtime. Now it gets a little bit tricky. So we have a documentation from the command line from this player. So what we here need, for example, we want that he plays an audio. You can also choose an audio gain. Um, but it is not the only information uh, the, the player needs. It's a little bit more. So if we check the settings of the player, so I start it again and I uh, who is it? Uh, it's in the tools, yeah, the preferences. And you choose the audio, you see he use as an output module this ALSA. ALSA is the advanced Linux sound architecture. It's good to know because this has also an interface. Um, and we need to read out our our sound, our, not our sound, our, our card. So, um, so we go back to the panel and we open um, the file explorer and we start it and we browsing to the file system you see this proc is a folder on the file system and we scroll down and down and here you see a folder it's called a sound and here is a file it's called cards it's important that you have already plugged in your USB speakers and then run this file. And here he show you all the possibility. You see this is my Platonic C520. This is the ID of, of, the set of the speakers. And this information need we for the parameters. So the first parameter is audio that we want that the player is running and we add um, the 
also audio default uh, device and our default device needs the id this unique id the 520 so let us check if we are correct again so this is it's depending really on your device so you have a diff different number Okay, this is the 520. The good thing is I plug it out and plug it in in a different USB port. Um, he has the same number. So this is possible. And if you maybe you want to use multiple devices, um, they have different IDs. This is also possible. Now I um, combine my strings, my file name, my parameter. It's important that you have a space character between and hand over it. And now if I st start the player again, um, the music is already running and you see if I check the audio device he has you choose the default and the track is also correct. Now I need the second file because I don't want to wait uh, four minutes to the end of the sound because of what happened if the music is to the end. So I add the second sound file my shift horn it's a chip horn i link it to the video it's a free mp3 and to our parameters i add play and exit so after he plays the sound he exit the player so let us check so he plays the short sound and then he closed it and he closed the complete app you see it is open and now it is closed it's good and the final parameter is we don't want to have an yeah, GUI, so I add the parameter i dummy to it, so it is open in the background. If I press now, he opens, he plays the sound, and nobody see that the app is running in the background, and he closes it automatic after he is finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. I linked you to the code I use in the video description. See you soon.